this is V, Diamond in the Rough. Welcome to my channel. It's uh, Saturday the 20th of July, nearly 1 p.m. 1 in the Arvo. There goes a sentinel puppy dog who's trying to work out who am I talking to. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Ah, oh, I think he missed me. He's finally stopped sulking that I left him. Okay, so yeah, I've just been in Cairns for a couple of weeks. I uh, spent time with my dad. Um, he's not the best of health, but he's okay. Um, but his wife came over here, so I went over there to sit and spend time with him. And yeah, so my last vlog you saw me. I did a packing to go away and all of that. So um, now I'm back. I will do a short little video where you can see unboxing or unpacking my suitcase. I'm home. Okay, I thought what I'd show you is um, what I've done. Uh, so I uh, mentioned in my little vlog that I'd show you my um, my suitcase unpacking of um, what my suitcase looks like. I have taken a couple of things out of here which are um, kind of personal in nature. However, this is a suitcase. I'll show you. Anyway, that's how my clothes are packed. I actually have them in um, in uh, suitcase bags. That one, laundry. And that one, laundry. Those two are clean clothes and can be hung up. That's how easy it is to unpack a suitcase and keep things, whoops, sorry, clean and sort it out. One suitcase, one half of a suitcase empty. It is this side of the suitcase that you will like and I'll just turn you around. So, all turned around. This is the side of the suitcase that you guys like. Now, when I travelled on, on the plane, I had the light, bag, light pad in my handbag. Didn't need it. Um, but... As I showed before, he is all complete and cute. Um, that was taken on the plane. And uh, my little box of goodies also taken on the plane. Our box. I'll tell you all, I'll, I'll tell you all about that. Oops. Okay, in my uh, suitcase. <coughs> so this is, <coughs> excuse me. All my diamond painting stuff, with the exception of my songs, and still one personal item in there. When I was in Cairns, okay, hang on. All my bits, I've got a lot, most of my bits and pieces for diamond painting that want weren't in the box. Weren't in the box. Went into this bag, so that it was easy to locate. Now, when I was in Perth, uh, sorry, Cairns. I did come across this little box, um, so I took it out of its packaging and it, it's loose in my bag. So that's a little surprise. Uh, you'll see me set this up soonish. Okay. <clears throat> come back with a bit of frog on my throat. Uh, there's one I completed on the flight, or completed most of it on the flight over. Sparkly, you'll see that too. My paint by numbers. Uh, don't mind me. Still filling out a couple of personal items in here, which I'd rather not be seen. Okay. My paint by numbers, I did a little, little, little bit of the paint by numbers stuff. The canvas was actually put into my other suitcase because I worked on that um, the, day, uh, the day I actually did pack everything up okay, and I needed it to dry. Selfie stick and a tripod. Now, that tr they weren't used at all. Didn't need them, didn't do anything. There we go, drop it. Sand shoes under there. Whoops. There you go, weren't meant to. I have 
make one spot for all of that. Um, I like the pearl pennant set. Thing. Hair brooch. Okay, so what comes back? I still have diamond painting to do. I didn't get them completed. So I've got a lot of extra stuff in here besides just the beads because I ended up with room in there. Craftmate blockable, a lot lighter. For that one, so I can finish off. Keep going with the steampunk. So that is the drills. Okay, and the tube, I actually managed, when I packed, I got it that way. This time I've managed to actually get it straight up now, which made it easier to pack. So those diamond paint in there are 60 centimeters so I got it to pack in here now DIY Moon have a newer version <coughs> newer version of this so um, yeah we'll see they you'll still be able to get one but it's a newer version I don't know whether it's seven and a half or seven centimeter wide um, but yeah so I will take this over to my desk and my other diamond painting and oh, I'll give you a look see at uh, what's been done. So unpacking the suitcase is um, an interesting process as you can see. Um, I like when I travel I like to be organized. Um, those bags show OCD tendencies, I suppose is the best way to put it. Um, but you can see how the tube makes a big difference um, and the fact that I can get two canvases with diamond paintings, with diamonds on them, with the drills on them, into those. Um, if you're going to travel with them, I would always say, recommend that when you use a tube, use a big tube. If you're doing big diamond paintings, use a big tube because you might be able to roll it up tight when there's nothing on it but you need to consider that when you need to roll it it's going to take up more space um, and the diameter of that um, tube the rocket tube is seven centimeters so just remember that if you're only if you've got a five centimeter tube you might want to only put one diamond painting in so yeah um, so what have I done let's uh, I'll show you what I've done uh, what I will first do though is show you um, some video footage of uh, Cairns, some of the places I went. I didn't go very many places. I got a lot of diamond painting done. I did go out to meet one of my subscribers, Michelle. Thank you. Fantastic meeting you. You're a uh, absolutely gorgeous lady. Now, what... Whoops. What Michelle, um, so I met Michelle the first time um, at First Shop Coffee. Uh, I think it was called Yummy Coffee. Yummy Coffee. Hang on, I will make sure I have the details. Um, bear with me while I find it. Um, where was it? It was on the lats. First shot. Now, when I looked for first shot on um, Google, I couldn't find it. But what I did do is first shot on Scott Street. Um, so the address of that place is... 1 126 Scott Street Scott Street in Bungalow now bear with me while I do this there we go so it was a cool coffee shop that I went to but and it was absolutely yummy coffee yummy coffee but Michelle actually the second time I met Michelle she gave me a couple of uh, gifts um, 
So she gave me she had a couple of um, page minders, cover minders. I'll get get it right. Hang on, I'll just. I'm just going to do a swap around on my face and the on what's on the desk. So it's just a bit easier. Chrissy, where's the other one? There we go. Put that back down. Okay, so what Michelle gave me was a couple of cover minders that she made. Um, just trying to get the sparkle on them. They are absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Michelle. Michelle also, so I met Michelle a couple of times. So I met Michelle a couple of times. <laughs> The magnets are so strong, I can't put them near each other. Um, and it was the second time that she, I met her that she gave me these. I really do like this, really do, really, really, really do like this. They're nice and sparkly. Not that it's going to focus on them because it's focusing on what's behind it. The other thing that Michelle gave me was this. Um, oh my goodness. My goodness, Michelle. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Thank you very much. Um, this is a, an acrylic pen. Um, it was the web, the Facebook page is uh, Pens by Sean. Let's see if we can open it up. I'll put the link down below. So he does pens, but he did. Um, these pictures for these he, he did some acrylic pens for Michelle um, but as you can see he does quite a bit of stuff I'll just show you a couple of pictures so that's grinders how pretty are they they're really pretty looking um, what else have we got Um, might have to actually go along work through um, diamond painting pens to it's not going to focus on them but yeah uh, I'll put the link to his Facebook page um, and you can check it out but yeah he does pens and they can be done as diamond painting pens but I'll put the link below for you to check out so once again thank you Michelle um, I have used and used and used these and as you I am getting the little indentations on the ends um, see if the camera will focus on it I don't know if you can see it but there is indentation on the ends already um, but then I've done a lot of diamond painting since I received this okay so look at that um right so one of the things I did do on the plane was obviously I diamond painted on the plane and I did use the box from DIY Moon um that handled stuff on the plane it was brilliant because I had a place where nothing moved um I have a tendency for things to be knocked off desks and that, but because I had the um, box, I was able to work with it that way. I did forget my sticky bead mat. Um, the sticky bead mat, normally I'd put that down and I'd put the box on top of it, or previously I've put everything else on top of it so it doesn't roll off. But I left the bead mat behind, but I made do. Now, that's... Box. 
the box that I got from DIY Moon, so that's this here, is brilliant for tools. It's also brilliant for your trades. Probably got too many pens there. I didn't fly with that one. Um, but that's suitable to travel with. So, so if, you, if you're going to diamond paint on the plane, one of these is sufficient to get you to do what you need to do on your flight. Love the box. Love the box. Um, I will be getting more. Um, but when I did the, the tree and the panda, I had those boxed up and the drills were in bags so that um, they fitted in there. So, which was fantastic. Okay, now on to what I did get done on the plane and while I was away. Oh, excuse me. Actually, in, before I go on to this, I'll actually um, throw in some video footage of, some pictures and some video footage of um, Cairns and the few places I went.
Diamond painting on a plane. Although you don't see me diamond paint, you'll see some pictures of um, how I diamond paint, how the how the how the how it looks like in the plane, and also um, some pictures and some video footage. So you can see that if you pick a small diamond painting, you can actually do that on the plane. Okay, so first one I did on the plane was uh, this guy, a tree from DIY Moo. Just bear with me, I'm getting my hand out of the way. Um, so that's from DIY Moon. Um, has the electric diamonds in it. And absolutely beautiful. I completed so Perth to Cairns, I flew Perth to Sydney, which is about this much, and then Cairns to then Sydney to Cairns was about this much, and this bit I completed while I was in Cairns on my first um, day. But you can diamond paint on a plane. You just need to be selective on how you do it, which is why the box is handy and why you bag stuff up in your little bags. Now on the way back I flew direct from Cairns to Perth and I completed this little guy on the flight. Isn't he stunning? How can you be cute? Um, can you call it a full or can, do you need to call it a partial? His eyes were not, are not um, diamond painted. But otherwise the rest of it is. And I have trimmed this, so he's, I've got a little project for him. So you'll see that in another project, but I will do a bit of a review on these guys. Okay. While I was in Cairns, I did do a little bit of my paint by numbers. Just pop that down. 
around there so you can't see me. Okay, so I did do a little bit of the paint by numbers. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, pop that one down. Now, what you do have now is my two big ones that I did. I will show you this one first. Oops. Okay, so Elsa, oh, look at those eyes. Uh, 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 just see if I can zoom you out zoom this out a bit so you can see a bit more of her okay so this is Elsa from GI Wine Room Shop um, okay so I'm just gonna power those eyes I love those eyes I'm actually rolling this so that I can show you she's so big I still have about 10 by, or is it 20? I have about 15, nearly 20 centimetres, less than 20 centimetres by 60 to go. I do have in here the electric diamonds. Actually, you can see the sparkle of some of the electric diamonds I put in there. And the sparkle of the electric diamonds here. And then back this way, the electric diamonds I did place here in the snowflake. Uh, there we go, you can see the spot. So that's Elsa that I got a fair amount done. So basically I got 80 by 60 done with Elsa. And then the other is the steam punk and just dropped my ruler. So this is the steam punk lady. And I think my dad liked her. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, more than he liked Elsa. Um, and just bear with me while I do this. Okay, just rolling it so you can see. So I've got about 30 centimeters to go on on um, the steampunk but I had when I was at my dad's place I had uh, I suppose the desk was about 70 centimeters wide and it was only about mm, about 50 centimeters deep so I was working on this on a on these diamond paintings on a small surface what I will show you is I took with me the good old Evermoment tube that's been cut. And I'll just show you to work in a small space. Just can't curl it now. Hang on a sec. Okay, so to work in a small space. though when you travel this is really good it's also if you actually have a small space though. I roll the diamond painting Hang on. so that I can show you to work on these on a small space that's I roll the diamond painting around that way to work on it So that when I'm, I just pull it down and that keeps it flat. And it means that I'm not creasing the bottom of the diamond paint. Okay. Once I got to a certain point where I was able to unravel that and no longer needed, I, what I did do is I used this, I lent on this to hold the diamond painting in place. But once I got to the point where I could no longer, bear with me, hang on a sec. When I could no longer um, hold it in place that way, I then turned around and rolled on the outside. I just need to open that tube up a bit. So 
So I rolled it round and used the tube to hold so that then that didn't drop off the edge of the table and I'm able to continue diamond painting. So when you go away, if you've got the ability to take a tube that's been cut, not necessarily an ever moment, you can get coastal tubes that are probably even longer than this. Um, just those tubes, cut it down the side and then you're able to do that. And I mean, as you see, when you have drills on diamond paintings, always roll them on going out. Don't roll them inside because they pop. Um, I will say I don't take square diamond paintings away with me. Purely on the basis. Oops, that does not straight. Purely. Hang on. <laughs> Just nothing wrong except for the fact that the drills aren't straight. Um, yeah, straightening tool in here. The purely on the basis that when you, we all know square drill, square diamond paintings, a lot of the diamonds pop off. I won't take that risk when traveling anymore. Which is why I ordered round to do. Okay. So that's what I got completed on the uh, flight. And yeah, they are stunning and there's no with the way I packaged it, rolled it on the outside, there's no drills have come off. Um, so yeah, pretty good. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the um, footage that I've shown you um, and shown that you can travel with diamond paintings. You don't need to take up a lot of space. It's, I suppose the biggest space that gets taken up is the storage containers in themselves. If you don't have a lot of room for storage containers, go to the baggies, use baggies. Um, they don't take up much space and they don't take up much weight. Um, I could have just had mine in baggies, but I didn't know how I was going to go with um, the baggies in the way of how much I'd get done. But yes, you can travel. And so I did get quite a few people made comments on YouTube and I suppose I might actually address some of those comments because I've done a lot of um, recordings that I saved um, till for me to show now um, I'm on, I'm on. where are we looking at I've had quite a few trips quite a few um, chats um <clears throat> so yeah um my biggest comments are from janice i think kendra kathy tracy anna cindy b you guys comment so much i love love your comments on that um i really appreciate your comments some like it was so funny it was like uh, you go going away on a holiday it wasn't quite a holiday it was a break from home um, but it wasn't like I was out doing a lot of sightseeing um, so Therese um, thank me for how how to pack now prepare for trip to Canada um, so now you can see what it's like Therese if you're watching this bit you can actually see what it's like to unpack um, and how to bring that bring that at all of that back um, yeah to bring that all back uh, into you know when you get home uh, dearly thank you you're back it's really good to see you commenting again and joining it joining me again um, hopefully you guys didn't mind the way that I like I, I did a lot of recording before I went away but I hope you don't mind the way that I just spaced it out um, I mean there was I did no recording apart from the little bits on the plane and just a little bit of standard recording um, at Cairns but I did no diamond painting recording so yeah um, 
to Ooh, bear with me Cindy B Kathy and oh who is it sorry apologies dear I'm trying to remember if I actually open up my emails I'd be able to say Let's get it right. Cindy. Ah, Nancy. Cindy, Nancy, and Kathy. Um, I have, I'm not going to go with Ever Moment for those uh, diamond paintings. I'm actually going to be using um, Viv, who. Why can I never remember? I get so frustrated trying to remember who I speak, the companies that I deal with. Um, Viv, I can't remember. Oh, gosh, I feel so bad. I'll put the details. Um, anyway, I've got... Okay, I'll get there now. I... Um, it's actually Viv, uh, Viv from Crafty Diamonds in Australia. She does um, diamond paintings. She does custom diamond paintings with poured glue with a clear cover. So I have not seen a custom diamond painting with a clear cover, with a poured glue. So this is the opportunity to see that. Um, now the question is, do I have them sent to me and I unbox them and then send it straight, then send it to you guys or should I get them sent directly to you and you unbox them yourselves? I know uh, neither of you, none of you ladies or three of you have a YouTube channel to do unboxing. So um, if you're watching to the end of this, which you guys do, um, Please let me know your preference to whether you want to see it. I do an unboxing, I'll make sure everything is there and then send it to you or whether you'd like it sent direct to you from Crafty Diamonds Australia. So yeah, um, I will say thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate um, every one of my subscribers. We've just, I didn't think I'd hit the 500 mark. I hit the 500 mark um, and Back when I was at 480, in one of my vlogs, I turned around and did say, um, if you're at this point, um, to email me and um, not to put a comment into the, the actual video. Um, why did I do that? Because I'd rather give, if I have a subscriber that watch my channel and they watch all the way through, I believe they need to be, re to be rewarded. Um, what I did say was I was going to pick someone to that would receive I do a, a draw to see who would receive that diamond paint receive a custom diamond painting. Um, as I mentioned before, I had three people respond to that that sent me emails, and so I actually thought, well, you guys, all three of you, <laughs> out of all of my subscribers, when I reach the five hundred mark. You can all get one each. So there is three diamond paintings, custom diamond paintings that I'm ordering. You ladies have already selected your pictures and none of you have the same picture. So how, how good's that? that? That's absolutely awesome. And there is two of those that I haven't done in a diamond painting. So, um, I've had to do the rendering myself to have a look to work out the best size to be able to the best picture for that for that size. Um, so, yeah, ladies, please let me know if you want me to unbox it and send it, or whether you just want me to send it straight to you. Um, it is hundred percent your choice. Um, but I've I'll be ordering the diamond paintings in the next in about five days time. I will order them. Um, 
and we will go from there. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. I have hit 525 subscribers today. It took a while to get there, but um, yeah, I got there. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in another one of my setups or whatever I do. Okay, bye. Thank you.